Hi there guys, welcome back to another reaction video. Today we're going to be checking out Candace Owens uh, with a short history of slavery. This link has been sent to me by a lot of you guys. Without further ado, let's check what this is about. Okay. And now for a brief history of slavery. Here's the first thing you need to know. Slavery was not invented by white people. It did not start in 1619 when the first slaves came to Jamestown. It existed before then. It did not start in 1492 when Columbus discovered the New World. In fact, when the intrepid explorer landed in the Bahamas, the native Taino tribe hoped that he would help them defeat their aggressive neighbors, the Caribs. The Caribs enslaved the Taino and, on occasion, served them for dinner. Slavery existed in Africa, Asia, oh. and the Middle East. The word slave actually comes from the Slavs of Eastern Europe. Millions of them, Just all about white that. by the way, were captured and enslaved by Muslims in the 9th century and later by the Ottoman Turks. Slavery existed when the Roman Empire controlled the Mediterranean and most of Europe from the 1st through the 5th centuries. Slavery existed when Alexander the Great conquered Persia in the 4th century BC. <laughs> it was so common that Aristotle simply considered it natural. The slave master model was just how the world operated in the great philosopher's day. Slavery existed during the time of the ancient Egyptians 5,000 years ago. As far back as we can go in human history, we find slavery. As renowned historian John Steele Gordon notes from Time Immemorial, slaves were a major item of commerce. As much as a third of the population of the ancient world was enslaved. Here's the second thing you need to know. White people were the first to formally put an end to slavery. In 1833, Britain was the first country in the history of the world to pass a slavery abolition act. They were quickly followed by France, who in 1848 abolished slavery in her many colonies. Then of course hmm. came the 13th amendment in the United States constitution. After centuries of human slavery, white men led the world in putting an end to the abhorrent practice. That includes the 300,000 Union soldiers, overwhelmingly white, who died during the Civil War. Hmm. Now, am I saying that this makes white people better than anyone else? Of course not. My purpose here is to simply tell the truth. And the truth is that human history is complicated. It no is. one, regardless of skin color, stands guiltless. Yet today That's we are right. never told to consider the murderous Persian Empire or the cannibalism of indigenous tribes of North and South America or the heinous actions under the imperialistic Muslim, Chinese, Mongol, or Japanese empires, to name just a few. Instead, we're told that slavery is a white phenomenon. And like all persistent lies, this lie spawns a bunch of other lies. True. On social media, I come across extraordinary depictions about how Africans lived like pharaohs before Europeans came and laid waste to their paradise. I wish any of this were true, but it's not. It's a fantasy. The truth is that Africans were sold into slavery by other black Africans, and in many cases, sold for items as trivial as gin and mirrors. <sighs> Whites didn't go into the interior and round up the natives. They waited imagine? on the coast oh for their God. black partners to bring them black bodies. Oh. The stark reality is that our lives had very little value to our exactly. ancestors. That's just, that was just, what a, oh my goodness, that's what I was just about to say. What the hell? So, like, what's, what the, so you take, <laughs> you capture slaves, go to exchange them for little things such as a mirror, and Jean, are you kidding me? I actually thought they sell them for, you know, very high prices. So the trade by butter is taking another fellow human and, you know, exchanging them for a mirror to look at your reflection. Are you kidding me? What the? Are you kidding me? If they sold them expensive, I would have said, okay, well, they made a lot of money from that. I mean, yes, they did make a lot of money from that, but wow. We are really valueless. This is crazy. This is crazy. And what she's saying is, is are things that I recently just learned as well. 
you know, the British being the first to stop slavery. I remember the last video I watched about, uh, you know, the, the crusade, you know, a British crusade to stop slavery and how, you know, the, they wanted to stay, stop the slavery in West Africa and uh, the king of um, Benin, King Gezo, what was that his name, in the 1950s, I believe, saying, we, we can't do the slave trade anymore, we, we have to abolish this. And him saying, oh, slave trade is the ruling principle of my people. I will give up anything you want me to, but not slave trade, please. So it's, it is crazy. It is crazy. It's these people, it's, it's, it is crazy that people are just trying to find someone to blame for all of this. It is crazy that they're not really looking for the fact that that we're all we're all guilty in this. The entire race has a part to play in all of this. It is not something that has just happened. It is something that is still happening today. And it's so it's crazy. It's so crazy. And the fact that people do not even want to listen or want to hear the thing that actually happened, but live in this small bubble bubble of tears and blame other people because it's, you know, the easiest thing to do. It just pisses me off even more. Here's the third thing you need to know. If you think slavery is a relic of the past, you're wrong. Exactly. There are That's some 700,000 slaves in Africa today, right now. That's the lowest estimate that I could find. Other sources say there are many more. Very good. For context, that's almost twice oh as God. many slaves as were ever brought to the United States. Child soldiers, human trafficking, forced oh, labor. Jesus. These are the conditions that currently exist within the same sub-Saharan region where the transatlantic slave trade originated. African bodies are being sold today like they were sold then. And no, they are not being purchased by any country of white men. In fact, slavery, by any traditional definition, is exclusively practiced today within non-white countries. But we hear almost nothing about that. Just like we hear nothing about how slavery was universal until good people in Europe and America ended it two centuries ago. Why? Because our so-called leaders, black and white, wouldn't profit from it. Black victimhood is nothing if not profitable. It elects politicians and funds racial grievance groups. And if black Americans began to view themselves as partners in the American dream, if we embraced the patriotic spirit that holds all men are created equal, the patriotic spirit that is our real heritage, then the race hustlers would soon be out of business. Exactly. And who wants that? I'm Candace exactly. Owens, author of Blackout for Prager University. Exactly. They will be out of business and they don't want that. That's why they keep pushing all these false narratives on the media. Just to get, a, just to get people fighting and, you know, they keep making money. What she just said about slavery still existing in, in, in Africa today is still th true. They sell human parts. Like, it is so scary to go out it is so scary to go out to take a public transportation, to take a taxi because you might just be the wrong one. There's this one they call the one chance. When you take that, there's no coming back. The next thing they're going to find is your body lying somewhere in a ditch. And when they find your body, it's not going to be complete. They're going to cut out your private parts and leave your body on the ditch. And it, it, it's still happening as I speak. And I've not seen anything like of that. I've not seen anything like that on the media because there's no white people there to blame. But if there was like a white person in the picture, then ha ha ha, then nobody was going to hear anything else about from that news. Why is it so? What is so wrong with people living in peace and having a common goal and fighting the things that are evil? Like coming together to fight these people that are still doing this thing till today. These innocent children that have been stolen from their parents. A few days ago, I heard the news from Nigeria of how this woman had her baby right to her back. And out of nowhere, some people just came and snatched the baby, put it in a bus and went away. 
till today they've not seen that child and that's it, it's still happening there's still kids there's still kids drug them and put them oh my god i can't even it's so crazy what's out there it is so crazy but people choose to focus on the things that has already happened things that i should forget about things that maybe not forget about but embrace that it's still happening it's it's the, the, the past is flawed and there's nothing we can do to change it but move on from it and focus on the things that are still a problem today save these children save these people that are still experiencing these horrible things that the ancestors had to experience but this time it's not just it's not even, it's not just about the white people now it's the same black people why can we not just join our forces to fight the evil why do we choose to allow the media to separate us to, to segregate us so many things dividing us we need to fight those things and have a common goal so because things are happening things are really happening it's so crazy this was a lovely video it's brief but precise thank you so much for sharing the links with me for watching the video as well i really hope you enjoyed it too if you did do not hesitate to give me a big fat thumbs up consider hitting the, the subscribe button as well and i'll see you guys in my next video until then stay safe be kind and bye